This is the story of the Wizard of Oz. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Dorothy and her little dog Toto lived on a small farm in Kansas. She loved Toto very much, and they would play together all the time. One day, there was a terrible cyclone. We must get to the cellar, Toto, cried Dorothy. But it was too late. The whirling wind lifted the farmhouse into the air and carried Dorothy and Toto to the faraway land of Oz. The farmhouse landed with a jolt. Dorothy and Toto stepped out of the house and looked around. Oh, my, Toto! The house fell on somebody. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. A happy group of little people rushed up to Dorothy. Welcome to Oz. We are the Munchkins. And that person you landed on was the Wicked Witch of the East. You have freed us from her evil spell forever. Thank you. Another witch appeared. But this was the good witch of the North. Dorothy, you are very brave to free the Munchkins. If there is any favor I can grant, just ask. Can you show me the way back to Kansas? Asked Dorothy. Only the Wizard of Oz can help you with that. But here, take these magic silver shoes that belong to the Wicked Witch of the East. They may be of use to you later on. Now, follow the yellow brick road all the way to the Emerald City. There you will find the Wizard of Oz. On the road, Dorothy met a talking scarecrow. My head is full of straw, and people think I'm a fool, sighed the scarecrow. I'd give anything to have a brain. I'll bet the Wizard of Oz could give you one, said Dorothy. I'm on my way to see him right this minute. Why don't you join Toto and me on our journey? Farther down the yellow brick road, the tiny group found a tin woodman who was rusted stiff. After Dorothy oiled the rusty joints, the tin woodman was able to move freely. Ah, uh, thank you, little girl. I feel good as new, even though I still have no heart. When the tinsmith made me, he forgot to give me one. It sounds like you need to see the Wizard of Oz, too, cried Dorothy. Come along with us. As they traveled through a forest, a huge lion sprang at Toto and roared. <laughs> Don't you dare bite Toto, shouted Dorothy. The lion blinked a tear and then hung his head in shame. Dorothy was shocked. Why, you're nothing but a big coward. I know, <laughs> sniffed the lion. I'd love to have some courage. The Wizard of Oz is going to give Scarecrow a brain, and me a heart, said the Tin Woodman. Maybe he can help you, too. So the lion joined Dorothy, Toto, Scarecrow, and the Tin Woodman. Soon, the yellow brick road led them to the Emerald City. The guard at the gate told Dorothy that few people ever saw the great Oz, but that she and her friends had been granted an audience. The tiny group nervously entered the huge throne room and approached the wizard. He listened to their requests and then answered, I have heard that you destroyed the Wicked Witch of the East. If you can rid us of her sister, the Wicked Witch of the West, then I will grant all your wishes. Now, go. But the Wicked Witch was determined to destroy Dorothy and her friends. She sent a pack of hungry wolves to eat. This is my fight, said the Tim Woodman. He swung his axe fiercely. The frightened wolves turned and ran. A screeching black cloud of birds darkened the sky. 
Crows! shouted the scarecrow. This is my specialty. He waved his arms excitedly. Boo! Go away! Shoo! You saved us, scarecrow, sighed Dorothy. Thank you. The witch was furious. She sent her winged monkeys to capture the little group. Chattering monkeys swooped down, grabbed the travelers, and flew back to the witch's castle. Dorothy was brought before the wicked witch of the West. So, you and your friends were going to destroy me, eh? Well, I've turned the tables on all of you. The Tin Woodman is battered and bent on a pile of sharp rocks. The Scarecrow is completely unstuffed. I've harnessed your cowardly lion to a heavy cart. And as for you, my dear, you and your pesky dog will spend the rest of your life working here in my castle. cried Dorothy, and with that, she threw a bucket of water all over the witch. Oh, no! screamed the evil woman. Water will make me shrink and melt away. Oh, I'm shrinking! Melting! Melting! Within moments, the wicked witch was nothing more than a puddle on the floor. Witch's slaves were now free. To show their gratitude, they patched up the tin woodman, filled the scarecrow with new straw, and released the lion. Soon, Dorothy and her friends were on their way back to the Emerald City. The wizard was delighted to see them. You have done what I asked, <laughs> and you shall be rewarded. So the scarecrow received his brain, the tin woodman his heart, and the lion his courage. How will I get back to Kansas? Asked Dorothy. The wizard smiled. Uh, you have had the power all along. Uh, your magic silver shoes will uh, take you anywhere you uh, uh, command. Dorothy sadly turned to her friends. It will be wonderful to return home, but I shall miss you all dearly. She kissed them all goodbye. Then, with the help of her magic shoes, Dorothy and Toto flew back to their home in Kansas.